Hi Angela. Okay. As requested, I'm talking about my queer identity. Um, I think I'll start out by explaining why I find it sort of strange talking about this topic. Um, it's really only recently that I even heard of this term, realised I fitted into this term, um, and, or anything on those lines really. So it, it's a very new thing for me to consider myself part of what is called the queer identity. So I did some reading up on it because I was hearing people refer to it on um, teammates and wasn't quite sure what they were meaning when they said queer. Um, and I needed to find out what was actually the definition. So I was quite surprised to realize it was such a broad definition, um, that it was an appropriated, reclaimed um, term. Um, and I found it a bit startling to realize that there's no question about it, I fit into this category. So, me, what am I? Um, I consider myself pansexual, generally speaking, although it doesn't perfectly describe me. Um, for a long time, and I'm 31, so we're talking uh, probably in my late 20s, I discovered that I was pansexual, but still didn't even have really a term for it then. The term only came in the last two years. Um, but I, like I said, pansexual is not exactly right. The part of myself that I've always known and understood clearly is that um, I'm not attracted to looks per se. Um, I'm attracted to personalities. Um, and that means that that bridges the barriers of um, what sex you are, um, what, however you define yourself. Um, for me, when I'm attracted to someone, be it on any level really, it is a personality thing. And it has always been like that with me. I have... I can still remember my sister telling stories of me not noticing cute guys when they walked past and stuff when I was a teenager. And it just comes back to the fact that if I don't know you, I don't feel attracted to you. It doesn't mean I can't see a guy and go, oh yeah, he's hot and oh yeah, she's cool and hot and stuff like that. It's that it really is an, a, a personality thing for me to feel proper, full on attraction. Um, so I describe myself as pansexual because it really is one of the best ways to describe how I am in that it bridges all barriers. My sexuality it doesn't matter to me what you are. If your personality is attractive to me, that's what I find attractive. Uh, if there's a term out there, I'd love to know what it is because, yeah. <laughs> um, so for so long, really, I didn't have a definition for myself. I was just me. That's all I knew. I just knew what I was. I knew what I was interested in um, and what was needed for me to be attracted to someone. So um, it's sort of strange to consider myself, not only now I have a term that I do use because it's useful for helping me to describe myself to others, pansexuality, and the fact that because I am not a typical heterosexual, um, I actually come underneath the title of queer, even if I'm not perfectly described by it. And I do feel that's an interesting part for me when it comes to the queer identity. I don't feel like it describes me, but at the same time it does, and I find that very complex. I don't have a problem with being queer. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm whatever you want to be and, and all of that sort of stuff, but it's... I think maybe because I haven't been involved in any sort of real queer community, and I, I mean community there, doesn't mean that I haven't had friends who were queer and all that, because I definitely do. My uncle's gay, all of those sorts of things. I shouldn't say that. Whoops. Mm. Um, yeah, um, I've, I've definitely been involved in the fact that I have people who are queer, in the, uh, are identified by that queer identity but at the same time have not been involved in any um, queer pride, I suppose, <laughs> um, community activities, those sorts of things. And so perhaps that is one of the reasons why I sort of feel a bit disassociated with that identity. Um, one of the things that Nye and I are planning on doing sometime soon um, is actually going to a 
uh, SOFAs meeting for FTMs and their partners, which I think will be very interesting for me because I have not ever been involved in that community. Um, hmm. Anyway, um, NI. I'll talk about NI as well. Um, Nye, I don't think, really identifies as queer, queer at all, even though technically, like me, he fits into that category. I think he identifies with it less even so than me because for myself, I actually do admit to an attraction to um, multiple sexes, combinations, etc. Um, but Nye is a heterosexual male stuck in a female's body. You know those movies... The ones where you have um, male and the female and they their minds swap bodies. That's Nye. Nye's the guy who got stuck in the girl's body. He's a totally a guy. In his head, no difference whatsoever. But somehow or other, he got gypped at birth and ended up in the wrong body. And that's how he sees himself. Sorry, that's not even... It's more than that. That's what he is. And so for him, the queer identity doesn't really sit comfortably. Um, I've heard him talk about the fact that um, he was uh, working for a um, lesbian. So she was running... Well, not working for her, but they were working together in, um, in a place of business. And um, she was quite welcoming and inviting for him to become part of the community you know we've got something to bond over that sort of thing and yet they didn't totally clashed had nothing in common and that's because he really doesn't see himself as related to what she is they didn't have a bonding point on there there at all and um it, it's not that he had a problem with her being gay of course not but the f fact is that they there was no real similarity there um one of the things for us as a couple that I've had to learn to accept is that people do view us at the moment quite oftenly as a lesbian couple. This is not what well, I'm not talking about. Well, actually, no, I am talking about friends and family as well because not everybody is how, was aware of Nye. There's far more people aware now of Nye's situation um, and the changes he's going to go through over the next year because um, we've been doing a lot of outing, I suppose, over the um, last few months. Um, but prior to that, yeah, we would just pass as a lesbian couple um, down at the store. That's what we look like. Um, Nye certainly um, gets mistaken for a male quite often, but um, majority of times it seems that it, it, the person realises a little bit afterwards because of unfortunate um, things that can't be hidden. Um, and so I've had to accept that. I don't really know how Nye feels about that. I, I don't think I've ever actually asked that question. But I... I've had to get used to this concept, um, even though if I was with a girl, that probably wouldn't even bother me. But the fact that I'm with Nye and he's a guy but gets mistaken, um, I, I think that that's why I have struggled with it because I feel like just shouting out to the world, he's a guy, he's a guy, stop thinking of him like that and just realise what he is. But obviously you can't walk around explaining that to every single person you know and, you know, mild acquaintance that you have. And so I am very much looking forward to Nye passing totally after tea and operations and things and that we can look like what we are. And I think that that's in some respects part of my identity in some I'm having a hard time struggling with this little definition part of it, but I think that um, my struggles with the queer identity is not just because I don't think I'm properly defined in there, but also because I don't think I'm properly seen as what I am in that either um, in terms of my relationship with Nye. And I'm sorry if some of this is not as coherent as it could be, but that's me and my queer identity. Mm-hmm. <laughs>